Lytris asperus, the large uh, coneflower, Vecchia maxima. That is a blazing star or Kansas gay feather. Lytris pinkness station. The average person might not know what they're looking at in this field. The gamma grass, they're in flower right now. But this guy it, does. This is a wet prairie or, or Cajun prairie. Um, these coast, this type of coastal prairie is, is globally rare. Um, there's only um, less than basically less than 2,000 acres of this coastal prairie that remains. We call it a Cajun prairie or crawfish prairie because the prairie is a wet prairie and it has crawfish mounds around it. Jason Singhurst is one of two botanists for the state of Texas. He's responsible for creating and updating the rare plant community list for the Texas Conservation Action Plan. Gulf vervain. And with more than 5,000 species of plants in Texas, it's a big job that affects a lot of wildlife. The vegetation communities of Texas are key to understanding the habitats. And so without a good you know, vegetative community, we don't really have things for the critters that we try to conserve. The coastal prairie ecosystem between Beaumont and Brownsville once encompassed six and a half million acres. But today, only about 140,000 acres remain. Jason would like to protect what's left with the help of the Houston's Coastal Prairie Partnership. Because this is a little island prairie surrounded by development, we really want to protect this site. And we also felt like it would put um, all these conservation groups in position to really have a prairie in a suburban setting, which is next to an elementary school, get them to come out and enjoy and understand the ecology right in their backyard. It'll be really good to see what the prairie looks like. And his enthusiasm is spreading through volunteers he calls prairie hunters. Today, two volunteers are looking for a very rare orchid located near some railroad tracks. A globally rare plant um, called the Texas Lady Tresses orchid. It's an orchid species we haven't seen in, in the upper coast in about 30 years. It's such a treat to go out with Jason in the field because one, he knows so much. He's so eager to teach and share his knowledge. And it's so much fun when he gets excited about plants. Is that incredible? Passion flower bloom. Among his contributions, Jason has published over 90 articles on the plants of Texas. He's produced the largest data set on native prairies in America, collected thousands of plants he's added to herbariums in Texas. He received the 2012 Prairie Preservation Award. He co-authored the book, Rare Plants of Texas, and discovered five endemic rare plants. Well, I think the one thing I'm most proud of is discoveries. This is a rattlesnake master, actually found species that never been described and be able to publish on them. It makes me very happy. But there is one species he doesn't like. I don't like Chinese tallow. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> OK, it's one of the most aggressive, <laughs> invasive <laughs> trees. Your life will surely rival the key touch. Almost impossible to battle. All right, look up some guts and you get it. And he does have a life beyond the great outdoors. There are times where dad has to put his blinders on, that's for sure. I, I am a soccer coach, and my wife and I are involved with uh, the Girl Scouts. Yeah, I mean, he's you know really good at taxonomy. So, Lechia eucrinata. Eucrinata, yeah. OK. Being able to look at a plant and tell you what its scientific name is. Lindheimer's bee balm. I think that he is really happy to be paid for the work he does. I think he really enjoys it. But you know, I can't help but think that he knows that what he does is important. A lot of people in Parks and Wildlife do. But people like Jason have some pretty big victories too. So, you know, you feel like you're actually having a real, very positive impact on conservation. So if you're looking for Jason Singhurst, Jason, where are you? Just look outside. The Lytris aspera. The, um, I and listen. This is purry parsley. Of course, it's called basket flower. The inflorescence looks like a weaved basket. Uh -huh. 